It seems Iran's so-called morality police may be back at it, brutally enforcing the country's strict dress code. Rice groups and activists say a 16-year-old girl was severely beaten and is now reportedly in a coma in hospital because she wasn't wearing a headscarf. CNN's Jumana Kadoshe has details. Iranian activist groups are accusing the morality police of assaulting the 16-year-old girl in a Tehran metro station for not wearing the mandatory hijab or the headscarf. Activists say that Armita Garavan has been in a coma since Sunday. According to the activist opposition group Iran Wire, she was admitted to hospital with head trauma. We've not yet been able to independently verify this information. State-affiliated media posted a video of a group of girls seen entering the metro train. Some of the girls entering appeared not to be wearing headscarves in that video. Moments later, it goes on to show a group of girls carrying Garavan out of the metro train, placing her on the platform before the train leaves. No altercation can be seen in this edited video that was posted on state media. We have not been able to confirm its authenticity either. The CEO of the Tehran Metro told state media that there was no physical or verbal interaction between members of his staff and Garavand. The Iranian government uh, has not yet responded to our request for comment. And Garavan's parents told state media in an interview that they were told that their daughter hit her head after fainting from low blood pressure while she was on her way to school. The parents say that there was no signs from the videos that they saw that she was assaulted. But it is important to point out, we don't know the conditions under which this interview was conducted. And in the past, UN and human rights groups have told us uh, that the families of protesters killed during last year's protests were being coerced and pressured into making statements supportive of the government's narrative. A journalist who went to that hospital to report on Garavan's condition was briefly arrested on Tuesday, and she was released later on, according to her newspaper. Jumana Karachi, CNN, London.